me tell y'all something, man. Hey, this Zillow is no joke. They they taking all my home sales, man. Nah, but for real. Hey, I just want to bring a quick video for y'all, man. Um, I do got a, a little something about Zillow. And then something about a home sale. So I got good news and then good news. Well, bad news, good news, whatever. It's all the same. So anyway, let me tell you about this deal I'm in right now. Um, I got a deal where a buddy of mine came to me asking uh, to look for a house. We've been looking probably for about a year now, but we actively started looking this year. I looked at a house, he loves it. So we put in an offer, but it was a contingent offer. And what that means is your new home is gonna be contingent on the sale of your old home or the current home that you have now. So you can't really move in until you sell one. And then once you sell that one, we choreograph it or figure it out on how to get it in the right timing for the next one. See what I'm saying? A little complicated, but it happens, all right? And, and we can do it. Uh, we just, for this one, it was a little bit different. That's why I was saying Zillow got me, but I agreed on it. So what happened was we looked at a home, um, agreed on this home. We actually negotiated it down a lot. <laughs> So the home was uh, 360. They got it down to like 330. Um, it's been sitting on the market for like 260 something days or 240 days. I don't know. 200, too many days. Should have been gone a long time ago. Uh, we offered a real low price. End result is we got it for 310. So that's amazing. But we still have this home that we got to sell. Um, so with the home that we had to sell, uh, my buddy already had Zillow coming by but he wanted me to sell it for him if Zillow didn't come through. I said, that's fine. Let them come through and uh, see what they can do. As a realtor, I'm, I'm confident I can sell, you know, for whatever price we listed at. And the one good thing is when I ran the comps, there was a home that was exactly his, his uh, exact same model. The only difference is he got the, the model, you know, when you go into a, a new build and they have the model homes that they just put everything into, that's the home that he got. So the one across the street was one that somebody probably built and, and didn't have all the upgrades. So the 235 that that home sold for was good for his because then that means that his can sell for 235 or more and the comps are definitely supporting that. Um, but anyway, Zillow came in and they offered him, um, there was a cash value that he wanted, you know, 30,000 or more. So they offered him 31,000 you know just to, to do a deal with them he calls me up bummed out you know feeling bad because he's like man we're doing one deal I wanted to do both deals with you you know I wanted you to get the money and then help me at the same time build up your career and what whatnot and uh, I told him you know what just do it you know go with Zillow because the end result is if something were to happen say we list a home right uh, we listed at 240 is what I was gonna list it at and and we get 240 or 235 it would have been great but what if something didn't work out right and then they you know backed out well now we're not getting the new house that he wants and we got to go back to the drawing board for this one there's no saying that the seller for the new home is gonna sit there and wait you know <clears throat> if we take too long we run past the time then we're out of luck but let me tell you why I went over Zillow let me tell you let me give you some numbers so Zillow's coming in offering 227 for the home on paper, okay? So the home cost is 227,000. We're talking thousands here. And then the buyer deductions, they say, "Oh, we don't have agent fees and things like that." Stop playing. So they're doing buyer deductions 16,820, okay? $0 in uh, repair concessions. I can't I can't complain on that because that's that's freaking awesome straight up. Um, but the cash offer at closing, that cash offer is going to be 210 um, 480. So 2010 is I mean, excuse me, 200 I'm dumb, 2010. 210,000 is what they're going to offer him and his home is Paid down to 179,000. So, and I'm looking at the paper. So I'm sorry I keep looking down. 
but it's 179,000 is what he owes right now. So he's walking away with 31,480. That's the perfect number for what he wants, and then it's going to make it perfect for him to be able to transition to the next house. But well, wait a minute. I ran the numbers also for what I would have done, all right? So I would have listed it at 240. We would have been looking at 240, 235, but I did the numbers for 240. If you want to do some numbers too, you can do that, or you can hit me back, and then I'll do some, some numbers for the to 230, excuse me, 235. But we listed at 240, okay? We have 6% uh, commission for the buyer and then the seller's agent, all right? And I was even looking at dropping it down to 5% because I had two deals with this guy. And I know he referred me to more people. But um, let's just stick with the, the 6%, but I'll give you the percentage also for the 5 5% 5 would have been 12000 for that one for uh, 240 listing. But uh, 6% is 14400 okay? And then there's possible concessions. Again, his is zero with Zillow, and then there's possible concessions. But the home is... is fairly brand new so there's really nothing wrong with it there was a sink um, faucet that'll, that'll cost you maybe 50 bucks 60 bucks I don't really know <clears throat> it's not a lot but the home is immaculate so that taking off that 6% commission takes you down to 225 600 <clears throat> so 225,600 so that right there is gonna be your your cash offer but you still have closing costs on the Zillow, you don't have closing costs because they're putting it in buyer deductions. But you do, because you the only thing they take out is they take out the second agent. They still have a, a, a buyer's agent, which they are the buyer. And then they still have your concessions, but they put it into buyer deductions. <clears throat> so when you look at closing cost, um, I averaged it out to be 2% of whatever the, the, the list price was. Since the list price was 240 I did... Uh, minus 2%, which is $4,800 is closing costs. We're just doing the rough numbers right now. But your cash money offer, you're looking at $220,800, okay? And then with the 5%, I did that number too just to see what it would be. $223,200, all right? So let's go back to the 6%. Let's go back to the 6%, all right? So 6%, $220,000 minus what he owes on the house. He owes 179. You would have walked away with $41,800. $41,800. That's with everything. 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 And if we did 5% like we were about to do, 44200 I don't know about you, but uh, ten thousand dollars more, fourteen thousand dollars more. That looks serious. Yo, you can do a lot with that. So when you're sitting out here as a realtor and you think that Zillow's gonna beat you, sometimes it is advantageous for you to say, hey, to your client, you know what? You're looking in the best interest of them you want to do that deal they're going to bring you more referrals i promise you the fact that you can step out and say you know what we're guaranteed thirty-one thousand. that's what you want to walk away with boom let's do it <clears throat> there's no worries about close time because they're going to close whenever you want they can close within seven to ninety days whatever you choose you can stay there an extra day or two there's actually uh, i think two days that he's going to be able to stay and then they give you that cash boom guaranteed so I said there's a lot of things that you don't have to do that makes it beneficial. If we weren't on a time crunch and we didn't already put an offer in on a home, I would have been I would have been talking to them a little bit more saying, look, this is these are the numbers right here. You can make the decision on what you want, but this was actually the best bet for them. So I'm not mad at all. But um, as a realtor, man, don't fear. Don't fear Zillow, Trulia, OfferPad. Don't fear any of those because we're here to win um, for our clients. And then for offer pad when they put that 210 cash offer the home is worth 240 you know these people are making out with with a little bit of money even with all the concessions and things that they're gonna have to put in but well, they probably won't do concessions because Zillow but <clears throat> with the closing cost and things and then the uh, percentages they got to pay they, they they're gonna make out pretty good um, 
But anyway, I want you guys to stay tuned, continue watching, like, subscribe. Man, I love doing what I do. Um, I do honestly want to put out more videos for y'all, and I've been slacking. But that's why I dropped this one right now. And you're going to follow me through this journey. I got two freaking deals. Two deals this month, man. And it's closing on the 21st and the 28th.